Hey guys, so I haven't posted in like a week and a half and you know it gets bad when you start getting DMs from people that are completely like uninvolved with your channel saying fucking film, here's a story. Even my editor started sending me stories and that speaks volumes on my work ethic. I'm so sorry. So essentially we have a few little stories because no one's been doing any major fuck ups. I feel like it's just more irritating than anything. Um, we irritating. Superwoman isn't funny. We've been new, I know, I know, but hear me out. She has a new um, nighttime talk show thing, which fair enough. If they were gonna give it to anyone, I feel like Lily's been doing a lot of like out of YouTube things. She's good for that. She's she's great. Whatever. I'm happy for her. I'm happy for any YouTuber that manages to get into mainstream media and basically slither their way in and take people's jobs. Um, <laughs> so she has her own show and she had this like initial first skit thing where she walks into the boardroom and they're all just like middle-aged white men in suits and she's the only woman she's the only non-white also the only like probably not straight person there so it's just like a whole thing of like yay diversity um and they could have just left it there and then she makes a whole song where she bangs on about being not white and not straight and not a man for four minutes essentially the joke wasn't funny in the first place and then when you repeat it 10 times over for four minutes straight it's also not funny. Jokes actually just don't get more funny the more you say them. And I'm demonstrating that right now by constantly repeating the same thing. <laughs> I feel like she's probably made those I'm not white jokes in every single episode. And frankly, I am not that offended at all. I, I don't know why I use the word that. I'm just not offended, period. Because I'm not the typical middle-aged, middle-class white straight man. I am straight and white, but I am also an immigrant in a country where Boris Johnson is trying to kick me out of. <laughs> so if anyone wants to throw a British passport my way before October 31st, uh, that'd be great. Brexit, you know? Don't know why I've been living here for the last like 12 years of my life and I just never thought to get a British passport. And now Brexit is slowly closing in and I might be getting booed out. <laughs> what I'm basically saying is I'm not offended. I get the whole thing of discrimination. There are not many women in top positions. There are not many brown women in those positions. There are not many black women in those positions, if any, at times. And I completely understand if she made that point in the first episode, just basically saying like, I'm here, I am a woman, I am not straight, I am also not white, and you are going to accept that. And I would have been like, <coughs> yes. But for you to make that the punchline of every single episode it gets a bit old and it, it actually sends the other message where people are not like wow maybe we should respect this person even though they're different to us it makes racist sexist people get more racist and sexist which is just never the way to go and yeah let's not maybe uh if it's supposed to be this comedy show i'm assuming she is a comedian and i'm assuming as a comedian you should have more jokes than just one and use them please now Haley farm fam um she is one of those visco Save the Turtles girls, and I respect it, but also I don't respect her. She's supposed to be the Emma Chamberlain, the Verena, I'm pretty sure her name is. She's supposed to be one of those girls, which is always cute and well. I'm always very jealous of their lifestyles and the way they dress and stuff, uh, because I feel like I just wear the same white top, black jeans every day. We need to work on that. Let's start from the start. She is a Christian, which I theoretically have nothing against, even though I'm not a big fan of religion. I mean, do you? Um, she is also saving herself for marriage, which also do you boo. Uh, I, not me, but do you boo. She is also living with her boyfriend, which isn't a very Christian thing. I feel like most Christians that save themselves for marriage are also the ones that don't cohabit with their boyfriends and fiancés until they get married. Uh, but that is your choice and the way you interpret religion is your thing, I guess. She had a one, I'm out of breath. This is a bad sign, I need to go to the gym because speaking makes me tired. Okay, so she had her one year anniversary with another YouTuber called Ryan and they planned to go from Texas to London to Italy to Greece. I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I do not care enough about her to watch that video because it infuriates me. So I watched summaries of the video, but my memory is not great. She didn't plan the trip well, which I completely understand because she's a child. She's 18. I say as I am one year older than her and don't consider myself a child. She is 18. She doesn't need to know how to plan a holiday yet. Uh, most adults don't know how to plan a good holiday, mainly when you're traveling from you know, to three different countries and back. I guess, you know, anyone can screw it up a little bit. There was a lot of entitlement and a lot of blaming other people that were not to blame in this situation. And sometimes you just need to know how to take responsibility for your 
own mess ups. And this is one of those situations. So let's go from the start. She went to London with her boyfriend and her boyfriend left his camera on the plane. Then she called up Lost and Found. They had the camera and they were gonna get it when they go from London to Italy, right? Makes sense. But in that case, it would make sense to go to the airport even sooner because there are more than just one person looking for their things in Lost and Found. So there is obviously going to be a queue and you don't wanna miss your flight. Now, they didn't get there early. They just thought that people would let them to the front of the queue because they have a plane to catch. As if this isn't a f***ing airport where most people are trying to catch a plane. What do you think people go to the airport for? And if you know that you have something else to do at the airport other than catch a flight, you should get there with time to spare and not at the last minute. Because no, people are not going to just let you to the front of the queue because they also will then not catch their flight. Now, she actually said something like, oh, People in London airports are so rude. They wouldn't let us go to the front of the- Oh, shut up. That is just peak entitlement when you're like, my plane and my flight is more important than your flight and you need to let me and my boyfriend jump to the front of the queue. Otherwise, I'm going to call you rude. So they didn't get their camera, uh, which is first problem. They fly to Italy and Greece uh, and she basically goes on this like speech where um, she basically says that Greece is and you shouldn't go to Greece. Now, this is just a mini review of Santorini, just in case you see the Instagram pictures and you've like always wanted to go there. I highly discourage you from going to Greece. Not only are they economically struggling and just the government is kind of struggling right now, but it's just like not fun. I don't know, there's nothing to do there because there's no beach, it's just a cliff. So there's shopping, but then you can barely even like maneuver through the streets because it's so crowded. And then if you're like on the outside of it, it's really bare. Absolutely not. I went to Greece and Greece is one of my favorite places that I've ever visited. Um, here's a picture of a nice beach that I now have as my wallpaper. It's beautiful. She says there's like no beaches there. Tell me what this is then. Um, she also then complains that like it's nothing like what Instagram shows. You know what? Most girls on Instagram are not what they show. Facetune. Photoshop, you know, editing. I don't know why you thought countries would be any different. Like, of course people are gonna take a picture of something and face tune it to make it look better. I, I don't know why you thought Instagram was gonna show you a, a true reflection of a country. Why Instagram of all places? Maybe look at like, trip reviews, like TripAdvisor or something. And I'm sure those pictures will be a, a better reflection. But this just goes to show another, like it's just people planning their trips according to like influences. No, do it the way an adult would do it. Go on f***ing TripAdvisor. She also says that uh, you shouldn't go to Greece because their economy is suffering and she just didn't have fun. <laughs> How does that make any sense? Do you know what fuels most countries' economies? tourism by saying don't go to this country because their economy is suffering you're basically taking more money away from them and making their economy suffer even more this is why you shouldn't drop out of high school kids finish your f***ing education please this is why people think that youtube is not a real job and that youtubers are basically brain dead because people say like this. I'm so glad that I, other than YouTube, actually I'm doing a law degree because sometimes when I say, oh, I'm a YouTuber, people look at me weird and then I go, I'm also doing a law degree. Yeah, Greece is basically wonderful. Please go to Greece. Greece was great. I loved Greece. Greece was good. Also, what she um, said after the whole Greece thing is, and that relates to my whole Christianity spiel at the start, she calls herself pure because she hasn't had sex yet which all good and well well done i hate the word pure like are we in the stone ages is that what we are is that what we're doing it's 2019 guys let's not use the word pure to describe people that are just not doing this one thing that other people happen to be doing it's it's not murder she got an std which can happen to anyone and she went to the emergency room where a nurse didn't know her history her medical history which is what happens when you're at the emergency room she basically just claimed that like nurses don't really know what they're doing Doing, that she wanted a real doctor and that when she did go to her real doctor he knew what was wrong with her and he knew her medical history and these nurses just didn't know what they were doing so like yeah just nurses are scum I guess and she also said that she feels like God is punishing her because she hasn't had sex and she doesn't deserve to get an STD and God seems to be punishing her even though she's doing everything right. Emma Chamberlain, we haven't spoken about her in a while. I thoroughly like her. I don't really watch her videos anymore. I feel like I'm gonna sound like one of those people 
that everyone hates, but I prefer the old content. Um, but I still like her Instagram and I like a lot of her pictures, but she made a video uh, where she was taking a tour of the YouTube headquarters with Susan, uh, who is the CEO of YouTube. And many people have a problem with Susan and they also have a problem with YouTube. And essentially what some people are saying is that while you, when you film a video with Susan, you're essentially just selling yourself out to YouTube and ensuring that you have a good, good CPM because Susan will ensure that you have a good, good CPM. I don't know if that's the case, but people are basically saying that when you do that and you make that kind of video, you're selling out to YouTube. I don't know how really that makes sense because essentially you can't sell out to YouTube when you work for YouTube technically because we're like, like I'm on YouTube right now, does that mean I'm selling out as well? Do you know what I mean? It just didn't make sense to me that that criticism did let the girl make whatever video she wants to make. She's also releasing really expensive glasses and by really expensive I mean just expensive for the age of her audience. They're in the like $85, $95 range but they're not like classic eyeglasses, they're those teeny tiny um, glasses or like weird shaped glasses which you can't really wear all year long, which you wouldn't because you wear them in the summer. But you, they're not something that you can just like throw on and call it a day, I guess is what people are saying. I don't know. She's always had semi expensive merch so I don't really know what people were expecting. And also this isn't um, just like eyeglasses made by her. This is a collaboration with an already like semi expensive sunglasses company. So like, did you think they were just gonna cut the plaque? The did you just think they were gonna cut the prices? No. The Ace Family, again. Wow, we love entitled people and we love talking about them. Um, the Ace Family made a video where they uh, work a regular job for a day, which we know how pretending to be normal goes on YouTube. We saw Alfie Days <laughs> do that and that didn't go well. Uh, he did have to say the most iconic line. That I'm not a Tory. He made a video where he was basically living on one pound for a day and everyone roasted him for it. And now the Ace Family are li doing a nine to five for a day. You know how people used to do like the chubby bunny challenge and do your makeup in reverse challenge. No, now people are just pretending to be in poverty, which we stand. They basically uh, worked in like a restaurant and everything was good and well until they posted the Snapchat story, which was just them going, oh, look how cool this is. I've been serving people for an hour. Wow. And I've been cooking food for an hour. Uh, and they, I don't think they, they realize that like this is people's life and they have to do that to pay rent and buy food and live and stuff. So it was just a little bit out of touch. They also, um, was it, what's his name, Austin, basically just said that he's never worked a nine to five because the moment he finished college, they just started making videos, which means he's never experienced real life and that makes this whole thing that much better. Now, James Charles, he did a skincare ad where he wore makeup. <laughs> I hate that. I hate when brands do that thing. You know, uh, most mascara ads on TV, which I don't really watch TV much anymore, but when a mascara ad comes up 99% of the time, you can tell they're wearing falsies and I am sick of it. If you're going to advertise a mascara to me and you're gonna put false eyelashes on the woman wearing the mascara, I am going to do everything in my power to never use your mascara ever. I'm not even going to look at it when I walk past it in the store because wow, how dumb do you think we are? One time I saw an ad for a lip plumping like lip gloss and each and every one of of those models in the ad had poorly done lip injections like not even good lip filler where you're like hmm that could be her yeah so james charles essentially it was like this big ad where it's like oh skincare um t did you see that there's paparazzi outside of james charles's house and james charles leaves and allegedly it's like he's not wearing any makeup but this skincare made his skin so good that when the paparazzi just catch him slipping he's going to look sister snatched and essentially he's wearing like five pounds of makeup so why do I keep on doing that? Did you guys hear that this is allegedly um, like a symbol of white supremacy? We're not gonna get into that, but um, this means okay. Do you get that? Because it's O and a K. This has always been okay. Like good, okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. What? Hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, anything to comment down below. And subscribe to those videos whenever something happens, which lately hasn't been a lot. I'm begging Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star to spill some tea on someone, anyone, please. At this point, I don't care. You could literally spill tea on your fucking foot and I will be more than happy. So yeah, I'll start making videos on the Shane Dawson series once it does a thing. But yeah, turn on notifications so you know when that's happening. Uh, follow my socials, they'll be in the description down below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.